Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and this is John from Samux Code and in this video guys, we're going to learn how to use um, Date Picker inside our JavaFX application. So here we are in our brand new uh, video. So in case you're wondering guys, um, I'm using the Dracula look and feel for NetBeans ID. So do not worry, this is the same series that you are following um, the JavaFX tutorial series for beginners. So don't do not worry if I'm using Dracula. Um, I'm just you know experimenting the um, look and feel of the NetBeans IDE. So I have here created the um, sample project demo for our date picker. So I have files main.fxml, main.java, and main controller.java. And as always, guys, um, if you are following with my um, JavaFX tutorial, you know by now how to create your own JavaFX project. So as I've said, we have here file for our layout, which is the main.fxml file. So let's try to open up the main.fxml file and we'll start building our basic application that will try to demonstrate the um, date picker. So of course, guys, a date picker will allow us to pick a certain date. So, so for example, you want to, you want to select um, January 1, January 2 and this is a convenient way for our users to select date. So if you have like a property or a attribute or an attribute inside your database that you want to save date so you can use the date picker. So I have here guys the button and of course the label. So I think I'm just going to leave the um, label here because we're going to use this to display the value of the date that has been selected by the user. And what I'm going to do now is delete the button click me right there. And then I'm going to search um, date picker. So actually guys, I do have two uh, types of date picker here. The um, FX8 um, date picker and also the J, uh, JFX date picker so this is available for i think jphonix um, jar file so if you have uh, if you want to include this in your netbeans or i mean scene builder so the link is on the description box below so um, i think we could you know demonstrate also using the date picker of uh, jfx date picker and also the date picker from fx8 okay so the the difference guys is that the JFX date picker is um, like demonstrate a flat um, style of the date picker. So let me show you this. So for example, preview our layout. So we have here the JFX uh, FX8 date picker and of course the JFX date picker. Okay. So as you can see, if you try to click on this and then you can see here the nice looking um layout of this particular date picker and then we can select the value of the date so for example april 20 or april 10 uh, 2020 and then it's going to set the value here so while using the fx8 we could also click on this and then we can see the traditional but solid looking um calendar that we could select also the date for example, the current date, which is, which is um, April 12, right there. So it's going to set the value also for here. So now what we can do is to display the value of the date inside our label. So uh, we're, uh, we're going to do that. So let's just close this for now. And um, uh, we could add, add the prompt text for our um, date pickers. For example, select date. Okay, so as you can see here, the uh, placeholder is set, the uh, select date. And then we could add the FX ID for our date picker. So DP and then date, for example. So FX ID and then DP date. So I'm just going to add a, you know, an action event for this. So I'm going to say here, um, show date okay and then every time the user selected 
a particular date, then it's going to display the value or the date into the label. So let's save this and then go back to our NetBeans IDE and then right click and then update the controller so that it will include the label and of course the date picker right so now we could just um, use the local date okay local date and the variable name is ld for example and then we can say here dp date and then um, get value okay so import this local date and we're going to set the date into our label so all we have to do is use the label um, variable and then we could you know set text and then you can say here ld that to string okay so we could save our project and then we could run and or clean and build our project first before running it. Building our project. Okay, and then run. So we're getting an error here. It says that the construct exception why let's try to find out the error load exception where is it load exception start method okay so i think we need to remove the um this one okay remove this first so that we could run our project once again and then clean and build and hopefully it will run smoothly without problems so run okay and then we have here the um, sample interface of our application with the date picker and then every time every time we could uh, we click on this we could select a date and then it's going to display the date here 2020s um, um, 04 April 4 23 or April uh, 23 not April 4 so so for example April 25 so it's going to update the display here for our label so I think that's all there is to it guys for this video so I'm um, just a sort of review we have added the date picker here and then we implemented and we display we're getting the value from this particular date picker and display it in our label so that's how easy for us to use date picker um, inside our java effects application so this is quite handy guys and if you are coming from uh, java or the the uh, core java before um, when we are using Swing, we have to add a jcalendar um, jar just to have this particular date picker. But now it is readily available for us in JavaFX. So that's one of the advantages of using JavaFX um, when, we, when we are trying to de develop our own application or desktop application so i think that's all there is to it guys for this video tutorial and of course as always if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video